This hefty slice of Apple powered air has a whopping 26% more pixels. The M2 MacBook Air has grown up and has a 15 inch summer bot to show off with a hefty 22% more bulk and a mere 0.2 millimeter increase in thickness. No butterfly keyboard, extra speakers, huge trackpad, and all day battery life. Plus speedy charging with a 65 watt adapter. And you're ready for a day at the beach. But sand, as we all know, is rough, irritating, and it gets everywhere. So let's see how repairable the MacBook Air 15 really is. As always, our friends at Creative Electron have our backs. Blasting the Air 15 in their x-ray machine reveals a suspiciously familiar layout, with some minor differences. Let's open it up and take a closer look. The same four pentalobe screws, the same clips to release, and yep, pretty much the same internals, except for the new six speaker system, including the fancy force canceling woofers. Disconnecting the battery, it looks like the 15 inch takes after last year's miserable battery replacement experience. And yep, that's a trap connector. Let's peek under the trackpad cable to be sure, but no shortcuts on this one, it's on to the logic board. Or rather, the speakers. The new force cancelling woofers appear to be trapping the logic board, and are in turn trapped by the hinge cover screws and the antenna assembly cover, and some tiny connector brackets. Right speaker connector, coax connectors, left speaker connector, and more. That's one heck of a maze. The miserable experience continues to logic board removal. Another scattering of connectors, display cables, ports, some more brackets, even more screws, good luck keeping track of these, and finally, finally, pry the heat shield up very gingerly. But we're not done yet, there are even more connectors underneath the final bracket. Our hard earned board removal reveals pretty much the same stuff as the 13 inch air. M2, RAM, some flash memory. The fanless design has pros and cons. On the one hand, a fan that isn't there can't fail. But on the other, once this thing warms up, like last year's M2, it could potentially throttle under load. Time will tell if it can take the heat, but for now we can confirm that this notebook brings beach day heat straight to your lap. At long last, the single component guaranteed to fail in any tech, the battery, is accessible. More cells, but the same system as last time, metal frame and all. But what's the point of these neato pull tabs if you need to remove nearly everything in the laptop to get there? But these clips securing screw posts are pretty neat. At 66 and a half watt hours, the battery in the Air 15 inch is around 25% larger than the Air 13 inch, but provides the same estimated runtime of around 15 to 18 hours. As for the additional cells, they probably help increase the fast charge times by allowing multiple cells to charge at the same time. Last but not least, let's see if the supersized trackpad has any supercharged tech. The circuitry is functionally identical to the 13 inch trackpad, just spread out a bit. The Air in recent years has become a pain in the bum to repair. The 15 inch MacBook Air M2 scores a 3 out of 10 on our repairability scale. It's worth mentioning that Apple could earn up to 2 points for parts and manuals. But given their unreliable release schedule, for example last year's Air is still unsupported, we're not willing to spot them the points just yet. Where the Air used to be the lightweight Chromebook of the Mac lineup, this year's feels very out of place. Yes, it's got that big screen and trackpad, but it's a heavy, unrepairable beast under that skin-deep beauty.